You still look <laughs> you eight. Still look eight. <laughs> oh my god. After Shine, he kind of like grew like eight years. Yeah. yeah. That little. Bit. Is his voice like super deep now too? A little bit. Oh wow. Nonetheless. Like so we got check. Dre. Dre versus Jackal. We got Sonic versus Ryu. You pretty much just saw the entire matchup right there. You saw exactly. Dre slowly move forward because he doesn't want to overcommit to anything against Sonic. Anything. He yeah. gets hit once and like is just straight damage. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Sonic is just such a heavy punisher. Like he can punish anything. Mm -hmm. And the, and the name of the game when you're playing against Ryu is listen. You got to touch and go, touch and go. Mm -hmm. Sonic does that almost better than anyone in the cast. Probably not as good as Sheik, but pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. So, like, right now, so. you see you see Jackal not overcommitting to anything, touching and going exactly what he needs to do, because True Sure You is a thing. The thing, I feel like New York City doesn't really have that uh, Sonic matchup experience that they probably should have. And rest in peace, Camelange. Camelange. Edwin. Edwin, yeah, where the hell is Edwin? Edwin went uh, MIA. You know? got the side B into Dre. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Now, this is important. Uh, Jackal has him right on the edge of the stage. He doesn't want to let him come on for free, as he just did. Yeah. Um, once you get him off stage, this is where Ryu, he suffers. His disadvantage is really bad. So you got to take this stock as soon as possible. Because Rage Ryu right now, Jackal, you're dead. Get up tilted, and you're dead. And Dre did a phenomenal job getting back to the stage. You saw yeah. him going underneath the stage rather than like trying to like to avoid getting hit by the bumper. Because that's yeah. all Sonic's going to do. Sonic can just throw a bumper out there for free. And exactly. It costs him nothing. Yep. He doesn't give up stage control. None of that. And the beautiful thing about it is you see him go under the stage. He's also trying to, if he does get hit, he's going to get stage spiked. So he has an opportunity to detect it rather than going to the blast zone. So that back here is going to do it, though. Yeah, good punish from Jackal. Saw it. Tetsumaku Senpukia. Senpukia. Coming his way. <laughs> Really nice. Nonetheless, I mean, Ryu's never out of the game. Uh, he just has to be patient, pick his spots, which is what a Ryu main Jackal needs to do. Jackal keeps ducking those Hadoukens. I love it. It's, it's really good. Pretty good. Really Doesn't good even want to expend his shield. It's not worth my time. Yeah, right? It's not like you get it back after a couple seconds. Okay. Again, Jackal playing patient. I mean, mm -hmm. he can definitely afford to do it at this point. Got the stock lead, doesn't want to overextend to possibly get hit by the true Shoryu or an elbow that will lead into the true Shoryu. Yeah. And I mean, Dre Charles has been maining Ryu for a very long time, so he understands what this game is like. He understands what was going to happen coming into the game. Yeah. So as long as he keeps his patience, he doesn't get frustrated. That was a, that was a good short. Yeah. As you said, he doesn't get frustrated. He just <laughs> threw that out. It is now getting sent to the top there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to have to swing for the fences now. It's a... Jackal's been on point with these back airs. Like, I feel like every single time we've seen Dre just try to go back to the stage, there was a foot waiting in his face. Yeah. yeah I, he used the bumper there to cover himself so he could down or back down onto the stage. Smart yeah. stuff. And that's the thing. Ryu can be pretty oppressive. If you let him walk you down and get you into the corner, like, it gets scary. So uh, Jackal's doing a great job yeah. of uh, handling that. And ja Jackal's actually playing pretty aggressive when you think of it. Again, hey, another back air. That's it. But Jackal's been playing super aggressive that entire game, yeah. like, even when he had the strong lead. Mm -hmm. like, there were definitely times when he was chilling back, waiting for Dre to commit to something. Uh -huh. But eventually, when Dre just stands there enough, he's just like, I'm just going to run in and grab you Yeah. with my nine-year-old reflexes. You know? <laughs> like, uh, it's not fair. Right? Young boy reflexes, yeah. man. <laughs> All the days. Do you remember uh, Noah from Evo, like 2013 or something, when he played Marvel 3? I did not. He was like an eight year old kid that played Hulk, and he got like top, he got ninth place or something. Eight year old kid that yeah. played Hulk. Because, I have because to YouTube he, this. Because he reacted to everything. Like, he wasn't getting reads, he was just reacting to everything. That is freaking awesome. I wonder what happened to that kid. He's probably like 15 now. You may have been playing this game for nine years, <laughs> but I am nine years old. <laughs> Also, you can't talk right now. He's uh, dying. I took, a I took a swig of water when he said that. I almost choked on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ryu versus Sonic. Let's get back into game number two. Yeah. Town and City. Yes. Now, you see, last game, at the start of the game, Dre Charles was very patient. He was trying to pick his spots. He didn't yes. want to commit to anything. This game, he's clearly going in. He's understanding, listen, I can't let you run away with this game slowly. I'm going to have to press the issue. So, that's what he's doing. But it doesn't look like it's working. <laughs> Already taking about 89%. And Sonic has the ability to go into that side beam and just apply so much shield pressure because when you jump with that, it has like three active hitboxes. Oh! He got that kill nice. confirmed! I, that looked like it was true. I don't know if he could have air dodged I mean, it, sometimes when you get them caught into that angle, you can definitely just catch them off guard yeah. if they don't DI. Because like, I, I think Drake definitely could have DI'd out of that. Okay, so you're applying shield pressure on that platform. This is definitely like... 
I feel like Dre just seems kind of lost in this yeah, matchup. Yeah, and that's exactly what I was going to say. It doesn't seem like Dre knows how to... Oh! No! The shenanigans! Way! The shenanigans! He got him with the freaking... The shenanigans! That was like a spring ride <laughs> except on the ground. Look at oh, this. Oh my god. Get I, I just, I just... Yo. That was 1,000% Dre not knowing what was going on. Like, there's no way. <laughs> you ever heard a black man say, never touch a black man's radio? I know you heard it. Yes. That was never touch a sonic spring, dude. Oh, my God. I mean... I